I know Nikon really well. Um, I even get some interesting information from sources that I won't name. Let's talk about what Nikon will never tell you on their website for obvious reasons. It's kind of like um, when you go into a burger joint and you go, I think I'd like the Caesar salad. And the woman behind the counter goes, get the hell out of here. You know, well, she doesn't say it, but she's thinking, get the hell out of here. This is a burger joint. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? You know, the uh, burger joints want to make themselves look more polished and refined. Instead of, like, uh, serving up dead cow to everybody and, like, spoiling their image. It's like, well, you're there to get a, a hunk of dead cow between two buns. They're like, oh, we're going to be more diverse. We're going to start serving salads. <laughs> but you know that everybody that worked there was looking at you like, you know you're at a burger joint. You're ordering a salad. You know, it's on your menu. It's the same thing with Nikon, and I don't care with you, whether you agree with us or not, but I can guarantee you, not my opinion, this is an absolute damn fact, is that Nikon is the burger joint of photography, and all these people bitching at Nikon, and I agree with them, I don't even feign to give a crap about videography. I never feigned to give a crap about videography. I don't. I don't. It's like, well, you make videos on YouTube. That doesn't mean I give a damn about video. I don't. When people ask me video questions, like, you know, go ask the video guy, you know, that owns like a hundred thousand dollar red dragon, and uh, you know, does professional video. Uh, you know, go ask him. Or get yourself a Panasonic GH5. Obviously, most people can't afford a red dragon, right? What's the latest red? It's like $110,000 just for the body. I forget what it is, like the, the Red Destroyer or something like that. Nikon hates you and hates everybody out there. And I, don't, and I kind of mean this literally. And trust me, I do know what I'm talking about on this. I do. I don't care how much you complain. I know this for a fact. Nikon, like the manager of the uh, local Wendy's burger joint when you order something, Nikon hates you for keeping for everybody picking on them about their video options they're not going to stick ibis in their damn cameras ibis's only true value is for videography so it's like no it's not it's useful for photography nobody's been complaining about lack of ibis for photography not a single professional photographer ibis if you actually saw the ibis mechanism you would laugh it's perfect on the Nikon, I mean, excuse me, the Panasonic GH4, GH5. Panasonic, of course, is dominant. So has Sony. Sony has a professional um, uh, video uh, department. I forget what it is. It's uh, Sony Professional Video Services or something like that, where they actually have uh, uh, real hardcore, super expensive video equipment for people. People make documentaries and uh, TV shows and whatnot. You know, it's been around for ages. That's the pro end. Um, Sony and Panasonic, I mean, even though I can't stand Sony, I mean, they dominate in that area, but, uh, you know, they try to move over that aspect of their capabilities into uh, their consumer-grade uh, mirrorless cameras. But Nikon is not even pretending, you know, as the burger joint that they are of photography. It's like they've been around for decades. They've got mountains of glass they've got billions of dollars in glass factories they own your ass canon and nikon they own your ass i don't care if they're fujifilm i don't care if it's sony they, they own their butts when it comes to photography everybody on the sidelines of a football pro baseball they all got nikon or a canon um uh, sitting on the end of a monopod like a 400 millimeter f4 500 millimeter 5.6 so on and so forth they own that that is what they care about. There's an old saying that says uh, that uh, it, uh, you should be master of one thing rather than uh, jack of all trades but master of none. Kind of like a Swiss Army knife. I got a Swiss Army knife. Around. Swiss Army knife is awesome. You know, I got three Swiss Army knives. But as a knife, it's a crappy knife. As a, uh, as a wine opener, not that I drink, it's a crappy wine opener. It has all these little nice little attachments on it, but it's not master of anything. And Nikon, trust me when I tell you this, this is not my opinion, Nikon despises you. And I'm not faulting Nikon for it, but Nikon despises you. For all these people that, uh, you know, want a, a Swiss Army uh, knife camera, it's like, well, I want it to be a super awesome camera, but I also want it to do 
4K video, have IBIS, do this and that. Nikon, hate your ass for that. Excuse me for being so bold and saying that, but I don't say that lightly. Nikon, and I'm not faulting Nikon or attacking Nikon and saying that, but Nikon hates you for that. Nikon prides themselves, and this is irrefutable, on their photography and photographic capabilities and their cameras. They do. And they are not interested in pandering to every little pathetic vlogger's whims. Like, I want a perfect camera, I want to travel to Tibet with it, and I want to stick it on a tripod, and I wanted to do, like, 4K video with uh, IBIS and, like, uh, have S-Log, you know. Nikon hates that crap.